Hey, good morning, everyone. Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions. Market Insider Market News on Thursday. It's February the 27th. A uh, reminder to check out our website and sign up for a text message service that'll send you market information as well as our uh, Twitter feed with all kinds of market info on that as well. That's at Midwest Markets. We've seen limit down in the front month cattle futures. Um, at one time, uh, feeder cattle touch limit down, bounced off of it. The stock market was sharply lower, but has corrected itself. It's, it's still down sharply, but to well off session lows, and that may uh, limit some of the weakness in the cattle futures. The wheat futures have been weaker throughout the trading session. The only strength we've seen is led by soybean meal and by uh, soybeans at times. They're trying to follow the soybean meal higher. It uh, was confirmed overnight that Argentina is going to raise their export taxes to 33%. That would be the new tax. But uh, International Grain Council this morning forecast world wheat production will rise to a record 769 million tons due to a 2% increase in the planted area. And that's what is giving us the uh, weakness in the wheat futures here this morning. Um, weekly export sales, nothing outstanding or very good for the market here. Uh, exports 14 million bushels for wheat, corn at 34.1 and soybeans at 12.5. Um, look for the cattle market to stay close to limit down. I don't think there's a bottom in this cattle market yet. I think technically we're probably going to see $97 posted on the June contract. That's my technical projection uh, for that, uh, that particular contract. All right, uh, if you need some help with your markets, uh, contact any of our offices. I know they'd be glad to help you. This has been Brian Hoops. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again soon.